When sitting down last time to prepare my video on anime and manga watches, I thought I was being the dummy. Who else could be a fan of anime, manga, and watches? But with the release of that video, I found that I was pleasantly surprised there was a good amount of other dummies just like me being a fan of those intersecting things. Through there, you all have helped point me around to find other neat appearances in other animes, and with that said, I will say most of these were gathered with the help of your keen eyes. In fact, even in the series that I brought up, there were other watches that I might have just missed or glazed over. A lot of these were discovered with the help of many of you, but I didn't say exactly who offered up which watch because for one, I don't know who likes being called out versus not being called out, and there were some people repeating some same suggestions, I don't want to make it feel like your voice was not heard versus another others. So coming around to the spirit of this video, largely speaking, the watches that appear in anime and manga are typically heavily inspired by a real life equivalent rather than a straight up reproduction onto paper or the small screen. So if what I offer up might not be a one to one, please be a little bit forgiving about that. Lastly, before we start the video proper, feel free to read the comments on the previous video for more insight. There were some watches offered up that I was able to track down, but ultimately unable to identify a real life equivalent to a close enough degree. An example of this is Detective Conan's stun gun watch, which while I was able to find quite a bit about it, that ultimately led me into a rabbit hole where at the end I just got nothing. In any case, let's get into this. Since we started the first video off with an Omega Speedmaster, I think it's fair to start this one off in the same fashion, with Kaguya-sama, Love is War. In the series, Shirogane's father passes his son down his old Speedmaster to aid his boy be more fashionable. And here's where things get interesting, as how valuable that watch is actually depends on how you prefer consuming Kaguya-sama. In the manga, Papa offers up his Omega Speedmaster Moonwatch, which is definitely still a wonderful gesture as something of this quality easily comes in the 2.5 thousand to three thousand dollar range depending on the specific version this one is however in the anime the watch handed down is a whole different beast sporting broad arrowed hands was a big indicator but the light brown accents points us closer towards an omega speedmaster 1957 trilogy thus commanding a price nearing eight thousand dollars in any case this was a very nice fatherly gesture and shirogane has a lot to be happy for in either case Speaking of Speedmasters, many of you rightfully pointed out that while the anime version of the Omega Speedmaster in the Death Note anime could be a standard Speedmaster, the manga version of the watch falls closer in line to the Omega Speedmaster Professional Japan Racing Edition 3570.40, made obvious by those unique inside-outside markings. While obviously it isn't black and white in the manga, the real-life one bears a striking orange and red color coating that makes this watch stand out quite a bit from your typical Omega Speedmaster, and as a result makes it a collector favorite. Favorite. I was able to find this watch used for a little less than $9,000 if you are inclined to pick up this iconic yet unique watch. While I went straight for the big money watch in Death Note, I did forget that it wasn't the only watch. Prior to obtaining the Omega Speedmaster, Kira wore a different watch, most famously in the, and let me try not to spoil, confrontation with the investigator's fiance. Now, it was very hard to pinpoint down a watch quite like this, and my first clue were those hands, which scream swatch to me, having owned a few swatches in my day. But if you've ever tried to look up a specific swatch model, you can probably guess my pain, and ultimately, I I wasn't able to find a specific dial and those hands are going to come haunt me for the nights to come. Finally, for the few of you bored enough to watch the live action Death Note movie, an indicator of the kind of budget the movie had to work with is the watch that Kira was provided for in this one. Instead of an Omega, here Kira can be found wearing a Citizen Alterna V0105995F. Now, being fair, Citizen is a very respectable Japanese brand and having been on the up and up in recent years, trudging along and moving forward whenever the other watch brands seem to stumble, and their EcoDrive technology is one of the most impressive mechanisms in all of watchdom, combining the best of quartz and solar technologies. And again, for what it's worth, from a distance, the Citizen Alterna can look vaguely like a Speedmaster, and for what it is, the Citizen Alterna is a solid watch, and as I get lazier with age, I come to appreciate the likes of EcoDrive more and more. If for whatever reason you want to look like the live action Kira, you could maybe pick this JDM watch for a pretty fair price, such as this one, which was sold for 5,000 yen or roughly 30 something dollars. Granted, getting it to you at a reasonable price is another story once you factor in shipping and potential duty fees. 
Speed Masters don't end there either, as another one appears on Araragi's wrist in the Monogatari series. I can't quite tell if this is a unique variant or not, but we've seen enough of Speed Masters around here to be able to recognize some of those key characteristics. But that's not all that this series is hiding, as he can also be found sporting a digital watch with a red band. Now, being honest, digital watches are not my strong suit, but I'd guess it was some kind of Apple Watch due to that crown on the upper right. I don't personally know if I could find the differences between the various series or editions, but if you want to pick up something like it, I was able to find a red one similar to the one in the show for about $160 depending on what online deals are going around. Circling back to Omegas, with the amount of attention we give to Speedmasters, it's sometimes easy to forget that Omega does offer more than Speedmasters. Such as in the Escaflone movie, where an Omega Seamaster professional 300 meter chronograph makes an appearance. I think due to the color palette of this portion of the movie, the dial's color looks a little off, but if my guess is correct, grabbing something like this can cost you about $3,800. Now, for fans of Escaflone not willing to shell out that kind of cash, another watch also makes an appearance a little bit later. May I present to you the cute and fun Casio Baby G-Shock 100 meters BG1302, sporting a fantastic teal coloring and a band made of the finest resin. While it shouldn't come as a surprise that finding a specific Casio is hard, if you want to pick up something like it, you can readily do so at a reasonable $60 to $70. But guess what? We have more Seamasters, this time with Jotaro's Omega Seamaster Professional 300 meters in black. You might have seen a similar watch in the Pierce Brosnan James Bond movies from the 90s where he sported a blue variation of this watch. However, again, that's only in the manga. In the case of the anime, this was instead a Tag Heuer 1000 series dive watch, reference 980.013L, where you can kind of see what the animators were going for with that iconic Tag Heuer logo shape, but with a T replacing the word tag. As such, if you want to go for the anime look over the manga look, you can pick this one up for about $1100. While I'm sure there might be some other watches in JoJo, the last one I was able to track down was this JLC Reverso, classic mono face with a blue strap, and while its life was short lived, it did make an impression which you can recreate for about $7000. On the topic of rectangular watches, how can we not talk about Rin's yellow gold Cartier tank? With its iconic slim rectangle look, the Cartier tank is a really elegant timepiece and stands out by somehow also not standing out. If this caught your eye, you can be a proud owner of the new one for about $10,000 or use one for about half that price. Speaking of wearing it well, Nanami from Jujutsu Kaisen can be found wearing the Tag Heuer Carrera Chronograph, and boy does he wear it well in this volume cover. Luckily, this watch is readily available for you to pick up for less than $5,000. Now, all this talk with these expenses watches is too rich for my blood, so let's look at some more affordable options with my favorite watch brand, Casio. In Great Teacher Onizuka, the silver G-Shock Frommin rears its head and you could pick it up for something in the two to $300 range. And while the iconic stun gun watch in Detective Conan doesn't quite have a real life equivalent, this G-Shock that appears sure does, probably being based on the DW8800BJ1, of which I was able to find a used one for about $65. Speaking of affordable, an even better deal is liking and subscribing, which believe it or not, is completely free. Finally, to finish things off, I'm going to rapid fire some watches that I found existing, but that I couldn't quite pinpoint down, so if you guys want to try your hand at it, I wish you the best of luck. In Gate, our main character Yuji can be found sporting a watch, and while some have alluded it to the G-Shock range man, I wasn't able to quite find enough good angles to conclude similarly. In Megalobox, this field watch makes an appearance, and my issue with it was that there is both a lot of details to work with, yet none of them definitely stand out. It looks possibly like a Seiko 5, possibly like a Timex Weekender, and possibly even a Hamilton, but at the end of the day, none of them came forward as a leading candidate, so it's really up to you. Joker from Read or Die obviously wears a watch, but I couldn't quite pinpoint anything down. Keaton from Master Keaton also got one. Naru from Love Hina wore one that's just simple enough that it could have been quite a few different watches, and at the end I couldn't figure out which one exactly. So with all that brain dumped out, I hope I delivered an enjoyable enough video to tickle your visual senses. Again, while we've explored quite a few pricey watches in here, ultimately, wear what you like, rather than dress to repress. Thanks for watching, dummies. Have a nice one.